The last really small iPhone that Apple made was the iPhone SE. It's a three-year-old device at this point, so it's a little bit dated, but it's still a very popular device, mostly because of its size. It's also relatively inexpensive at this point, but it still runs the latest version of iOS. It's still a great phone for what it's meant to be, but people have been wanting a small or like a updated small iPhone for a while, because if you want, any of the new kind of user interface iPhones like with Face ID and stuff, you need to get one of the bigger phones. But there've been reports recently from Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo of a new upcoming small iPhone. It's supposed to be smaller than iPhone 10 and 10s, but not as small as the iPhone SE. It's supposed to be rocking a 5.4 inch screen. So the regular iPhone 10 right now has a 5.8 inch screen. This is supposed to be a little bit smaller and a 5.4 inch OLED screen that retains the same aspect ratio as their existing current devices would fit actually quite well into their existing or like the old iPhone 6 to iPhone 8 chassis design. So this kind of more traditional chassis design, this actually houses that screen size really well. It's not as small as like the iPhone SE. Like we've seen a bunch of renders pop up on the internet of the iPhone SE 2, which would look awesome, but a 5.4 inch screen won't fit onto the size physically. Like the biggest thing you could get on this is maybe five inches, but the classic iPhone 6 to iPhone 8 chassis can hold a 5.4 inch screen just right. Now this screen is also supposed to have a punch hole camera. So instead of the notch that we've seen on the iPhone 10, iPhone 10R and 10S, these new phones are supposed to have a punch hole camera system up front. Now, this type of technology isn't new, right? When we look at the kind of existing phone lineup we have on the market today, if you look for a smaller phone with an OLED panel, with thin bezels all around and a punch hole camera, the Samsung Galaxy S10e fits that ticket. This is one of my favorite phones of the year. It's super comfortable to hold in my hand. And as much as I liked the S10 and S10 Plus, I'm a huge fan of smaller phones that fit comfortably in one hand for one hand usage. And to hear that Apple is considering making a small phone again for people without huge hands, it's nice to hear. Ming-Chi Kuo also mentions other sizes for these iPhones. There's that really small one, a similar size one to the iPhone XR in terms of screen size, and also an even larger plus size. So right now the iPhone 10 Plus is a 6.5 inch screen. These new ones are supposed to have a 6.7 inch screen, just a little bit bigger, but a completely new design to house that larger screen. The other characteristic that's cool about these three phones is that they're supposed to be finally running USB-C. It's kind of crazy we've lasted this long running lightning ports on these iPhones, so it's it's about time. Now, the unfortunate thing, despite all this cool information about these new phones, is that these phones are supposed to be coming next year. Not the ones coming out in a few months, but in 2020. So according to Quo, we're seeing stuff like 5G technologies, new designs, bigger screens and smaller screens, but just a completely redesign to the iPhone. See, the 2019 iPhone, the one that's coming out in a few months, that's been leaked like crazy. And from the images we've seen, it's not a huge step up from the current generation of iPhone. It's got a triple camera system, maybe some bigger batteries, but the overall design and usability of the 2019 iPhones remains quite unchanged. With the 2020 ones with a new size and 5G technology, that's a pretty significant change in just what the iPhone is. So if you're someone who appreciates a smaller iPhone or you wanna upgrade your iPhone SE, or if you just want a smaller iPhone, I wouldn't get the 2019 models. I would totally wait for the 2020 because that 5.4 inch screen looks pretty promising. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.